welcome back this is a neutral peachy toned eye look today with a pop of teal fresh glowy face simple and if you want to see how I got this look then just keep on watching I started off with the hard candy primer today that's the serum primer that's the older packaging but they have the same thing in the newer pink packaging I just have a lot to use up in that one so I haven't bought the newer packaging and I kind of just pat this one in my face because it's not just a face primer it's a serum it really doesn't do anything for pores so we're gonna go in with the Dr. Brandt pores no more and fill those in Applying this to the center of the T-zone as usual and just going to rub that in. Fill in my large pores that I have. Keep some oils at bay. Just rub that in all over the T-zone. Especially on the sides of my nose. I have larger pores there so really need to fill those in and there you have it we're going to use the ColourPop pretty fresh foundation I don't know if you can see that but that's the color 20 in and on camera my foundations always look a little bit too light for my skin tone but they're not they always match my body my face is just always a little bit redder than my body so we're just dabbing that all over. The e.l.f. sponge that came in the Retro Trio collection I got from Target. And just putting that all over the face. And as you can tell right there, it looks super light, but it's really not. And when I'm done, it bl everything blends in seamlessly with my body. My face is just always red so it looks so white but if you look at my neck it does match and that's what I match my foundation to my neck I never match it to my face I would have red foundation but using this sponge pouncing it all over the skin this is my third time using this foundation the first two times I haven't worn it that long like three to four hours and then took it off um, but today we're going to do a 10 hour wear test with this foundation and see how it holds up on my combo to oily skin and of course going in with my dose of colors concealer in the shade 03 fair my favorite concealer right now of life i have fine lines under my eyes and especially on the corners of my eyes that's why i do not put concealer over there but this one does not crease nearly half bad as any of my other ones. Even higher end ones, even my NARS creases worse than this one. And the NARS concealer is like $29 or $30. It's more than this one and does not do a better job. <clears throat> that was two pumps of foundation and I didn't even use the full two pumps. So... I think next time I'll just do like a pump and a half because I had extra and I really didn't feel the need to build any more up on my face it gave pretty good coverage not full coverage but medium coverage and medium coverage for me is good so I really don't have a lot to hide except for redness I don't have any acne scars or acne that's the Maybelline fit me and the Haley's setting powder and I just mix both of those I love the Haley setting powder it's very blurring more blurring than the Maybelline one but it's a little bit yellow tone and it does change the look of my foundation so I always have to mix it I can never just use it on its own and I just set my whole face using that same sponge from the retro collection with those same mix of powders 
the Maybelline and the Haley's. The Maybelline powder is more neutral colored and that Haley's powder is got a yellow tune to it. So that's why I do have to mix it. Going in with my little Milani brow kit here. Never use too much on my brows. I don't really have bad brows, so they're actually pretty thick, so just a little sparse at the beginning of my brow that I fix. Same thing with the other brow. Right there is where it's a little sparse, but as far as the whole brow, I really never do too much to my brows. They're naturally thick, so just fill them in a tiny bit and then we'll just go brush through them. It's a little Jeffree Star spoolie I got off Alta. Flour, pressed powder, and that is a Big Elf powder brush that I got off Walmart.com. And we're just going to set that all over. And this powder to me is comparable to the Charlotte Tilbury powder, which I also own, but is less than a third of the price of that. And it, to me, it's just as good, if not better. Maybelline Matte Silk Bronzer. Just going to put those in the hollows of the cheeks and kind of keep it towards the upper part of my cheek. around the perimeter of my face, top of my temples, top of my forehead, give my face back some life. It looks so one dimensional with that foundation and run a little bit under the jawline. This color is good. It's not too warm, too cool. It doesn't look muddy on the skin. One of my favorite bronzers. I go back and forth between this one and the L'Oreal Bronze Please. It's easy wet and wild ombre blush. Just gonna use the darker part at the end. And I see a lot of people on YouTube put blush on the apples of their cheeks. It's not a good look for me. I just kind of keep it towards the back. I like the lifted face look. I don't put anything on the apples of my cheeks. So I did try it. It just it made me look like a clown. So it wasn't for me. Airspun loose highlighter. And that's the Milani highlighting brush. I went for the wet skin look today. Didn't want to be subtle. Put that on the cheekbones, high parts of my face, temples, over my eyebrow. A little bit on my, my brow bone, middle of my forehead, cupid's bow. I never put any on my chin just because I have larger pores there and I'm not trying to emphasize that or show texture. I know a lot of people do. It's not a good look for me, so I always keep everything to the top of the face and on the outside of the face. This highlighter is a little bit messy, but it's very pretty. Baby Got Peach. We're going to go on with this ColourPop palette, that first transition shade. my Sigma fluffy brush and just throw that in the crease. Same with the other eye. Nothing too precise. We're just putting that transition shade in there. Give us something to start working with. Even though this is peachy tone, we're still keeping it neutral. It's not bright peach or anything like that, but we are going to do a pop of color on the bottom of the lash line. So I kept this 
look more neutral even though it's peach tone going to go in with the little bit darker color that burnt orange color same thing throw it right in the crease of my eye I work this shade a little bit more on the outer portion just because it is darker give my eye a little bit more dimension so I'm not looking so one flat but we still put it all over the crease And as you can see, I'm literally just like throwing it in there, the windshield wiper motions. I'm not precise or being perfect about it. Windshield wiper motions there. Just trying to build that burnt orange color up a teeny bit. Now we're gonna go in with the blush crush. That's also ColourPop. We're gonna go in with the lighter shade just because the other palette did not have a light shade to put on my brow bone. So the lightest shade in that ColourPop Baby Got Peach is too dark for the brow bone. Put a little bit of the MAC Fix Plus Watermelon just to set those powders down. And actually did that so these shimmer that I'm putting on my eyelid now would have something to stick to. And I always just use my finger and never use a brush. It's just easier for me. I see people spray their brush and use it. To each his own, but I do not. My finger is my best tool. And I just take this fluffy brush. It's a highlighting brush. I think it's a Morphe. And this LA colors eyeliner and just put this only in the waterline any teal color will do anytime I'm doing looks on here you never have to use the same as that products I have a lot of teal colored eyeliners so you use what you want and this color here this palette I don't even think you can get any more once again you can just use any colored teal eyeshadow and I'm just running that on the bottom of the lash line with a smaller brush so now we have teal in the waterline and on the lash line and I'm bringing that up as if it was a liner I don't know if you can see that but same with the other eye, running that underneath. And then same thing, bring it up as if it was a liner. And I love neutral eye looks with a little pop of color. So pretty. And we're going to take that same Flower Beauty Powder with a concealer brush and just clean up right under where we pulled up that eyeshadow. This is the Milani bronzer again, but in the shade 2. I felt like my face needed a little bit more dimension, so I picked the darker shade. That first shade we used was number 1. And that's my NYX brush I got off Ulta. And we're just putting that right in the hollows, not too much, but my face needed just a little bit more dimension. I'm going to throw a little bit more on the forehead. And as you can see right there, it made a big difference. So, And this brush is fluffy. It looks super dense, but it's super soft. So it's good for getting right in the hollows of the cheekbones like that. And that's what I use it for. Pretty sure you could use it for many things, that's just what I use it for. And of course my NYX lip liners. I love a good pencil lip line. The pencil lip liners always last longer to me than those little smooth retractable ones. 
and that is the Revlon lip lacquer and that's the lightest shade it's like a peachy tone but neutral so throwing that on the lips and then we're gonna go in with the lifter gloss from Maybelline and that's in the color amber which is also a pretty neutral peachy orange color just the Revlon one wasn't as glossy as I wanted it to be even though the color was there the color payoff is there with those but they're just not glossy I wanted to go for a glossier look today that's the ColourPop pretty fresh setting spray and this does make your skin look dewy so just a little side note and even though I'm combo to oily skin I do like fresh dewy looking skin every now and then I don't always like matte and we're just taking that same elf sponge and making sure there's no little droplets going in with my Thrive Cosmetics mascara really getting in there And once again, I don't use, I don't even think two full coats of this because it does start looking super clumpy. But I do love this mascara. It's been my go-to. It's what I've been using almost every day. And I have a lot of mascara, so that should say something about this mascara. And of course, I have to clean up the back of my lids because my eyelashes are naturally long, so it always gets messy there's no way around that I've tried to put my face up and look down it's still it doesn't matter any mascara I always have to clean up so we're going to do the same thing with the bottom lashes one coat only though and you can see there it made a big difference with just one coat clean up the back of my eyelids and a little trick, if you just let the mascara dry, not fully dry, but dry, it never smudges. It really just flakes off. So you don't have to take any other tissue or anything to clean up. And that was that easy. We're going to go in with this Tarte blush. Again, I just wanted a little bit more on my face today. I really wanted the hollows of my cheeks to be carved out. So even though that Wet n Wild blush was pretty, it just wasn't enough for me. So went in with this Tarte one. A little bit on the forehead, whatever was left on the brush. Not having a very good hair day, but Smashbox Photo Finish Setting Spray. Trying to give this foundation the honest wear test that I would do any other foundation so hey guys I've had this foundation on for about four hours now I'm not a grease ball and it doesn't look too too bad so we'll check back in about another four hours so far so good hey this is my last check-in as you can see I look like a grease ball I have had this makeup on now for 11 hours try to get good light but as you can see it's wore off on my nose I had a mask on today <clears throat> it didn't hold up very well I would say at the five or six hour mark it started going downhill I'm trying to get in better light here but you can kind of see my face is super greasy it's rubbed off on my nose on my cheeks, my bronzer, my blush have faded. So I would say if you're not wanting to wear a foundation for hours and hours, this was good until about the five or six hour mark. But I'm ready to take this off. It's super greasy. 
You can see up here it's wore off. It's just a hot mess right now, so.